hello friends welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about another tutorial with docker okay and in this tutorial we will see how to set up influx db as a docker container so we have seen in my previous tutorial how to set up mysql you know another database like pros postgres uh, sql database right so what we are going to do in this tutorial is we are going to set up uh, influx db okay and uh, what we will do is once we have the container running as uh, for the influx db we will uh, also show how to import some data so why we are doing this this should be a preparation uh, tutorial so that we can integrate influx db with grafana in the upcoming tutorial okay so uh, if you have not uh, subscribed to my channel i would request you to kindly subscribe like this video share and comment so in order to start i have a machine where the docker is set up so if you don't know how to set up docker please check my previous tutorial how to set up docker on ubuntu or sendos uh, and uh, you have all other tutorials on docker basic commands and uh, all those details you will be able to see in my playlist okay so this should be a short tutorial because since uh, i consider you guys know some of the commands for docker i'll be just creating the uh, container for influx db okay so if you see uh, i don't have any containers running okay and uh, in order to install uh, influx db you should know which package you need to download for the image right which package you need to download so if you go to hub.docker.com you can search for influx db so you can see uh, there is the official uh, image for influx db right and it's also tell you uh, the basic commands how to run so you can use docker on hyphen p with the port number and uh, some password you can attach to this location and the image and uh, there are different uh, commands which shows so what we will do is we will uh, use similar command but we'll be also adding the admin username and password okay which you, if you want you can use it for administrating your database so if you see uh, the docker images i already have influxdb image downloaded okay so uh, that's why you know when i run the docker run command it does not have to install download it again but if you don't have the image downloaded, when you run the docker run command, it will, it will download the image if you don't have it on your uh, machine, okay? So let's create the container. So I'm going to use docker run and hyphen d for detached mode. And I'm going to give a, uh, give a name for this container. I will call influxdb. And uh, I'm going to use uh, some environmental variables, okay? So before uh, the environment variable, I will use the port which is 8086 okay so which will be from both um, the local host and also the container which will be 8086 then I'm going to use some environmental variables to set the username and password so the environmental variable is influx db admin underscore user and I'm call, going to call the username as admin okay and I'm going to call also one more environmental variable okay so this environmental variable is for the password so influx db admin password and i'm going to give you a random password like admin one two three okay and i'm going to also going to attach a volume so i'm going to call this uh, influx db underscore data okay so if you don't know what volume is so volume is going to be you know something on the local machine which will attach from your container so you, you don't have to you know uh, log into the container always you can see the data from your local host so it's like a persistent data so even if the container is uh, destroyed the data is still available on your local host okay and uh, you should be able to manage it easily so you can check out my tutorial on volumes okay so this is going to be a docker managed volume okay so that's why we are giving the just the name influxdb underscore data okay and the volume is going to attach to var lib slash influx db from the container okay? and i'm going to call the image so it should be influx db okay so this will be the complete command docker run hyphen d the name of the container you can give any name and the port and the environmental variable should set the username password and the volume and at the end it's an image okay so let me run this command so i'll give all this command in the video description you can copy it from them 
so you can see the container is getting created right so if i run docker ps you can see the container for influx db is running right so if you don't have the image for influx db already downloaded so it will not be this much this much fast it will download the image first then it will create the container okay so now we have the uh, container running right so now we need to know how we can access the database right so if you remember some of my previous tutorial uh, i have shown you how to connect to a running container right using docker exec command so we are going to use that here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to call the command docker exec hyphen it and the container name flexdb and bash okay so now you see the uh, it has been changed from root node to root uh, the container id right so we are inside the container now so if you see we are inside the container and we are seeing the content from there so uh, now this container is running the influx db database right so in order to access the database you can just uh, run the command influx now if you've seen uh, you now it shows like connected to the local host 8086 right and the cursor has been changed so that means we are now inside uh, connected to the uh, the database so if i run the command show databases you can see it shows the internal database so it does not have any other database so we can create a database like create database test now if I run the command show database you can see one more database is the rest test right now we can use this database so use database test okay let me see okay let me see let me clear out the screen okay let me show databases okay we have test so then let me use use test yep now you can see we are inside the database test okay? and they can use the command show measurements to get the content for, for inside those test database so we don't have anything at this point so now uh, let's see how to import some content to it okay so I will just copy and import some content so then I'll show you how to how, how it will be displayed so I'm going to use this command insert and I'm going to call the CPU and uh, the content of it would be server name and value okay so it, it's just a sample so similar way I'm going to add more entries okay if I before uh, adding more entries if I go to show measurements uh, you can see there is something called CPU now right and if I use uh, the command select star from CPU you can see there is one entry which is server a and the value is one which we entered right so let me add uh, more content so okay sorry I think I just copied it wrong okay let me clear the screen so let me add uh, more content to it okay so let me see show measurements now Okay, so we are still in CPU then select star from CPU now you can see there are more content right so we have added uh, more entries into the database so uh, this is what I just want to show you so what I will be doing uh, in the next tutorial is we'll be using this influx DB uh, and we'll uh, connect it to the Grafana so we can uh, whatever data in this influx DB we can you know display it in the grafana dashboard okay so i hope this tutorial is informative for you right so uh, let me just recap it a little bit so what we have done so we have uh, uh, created the docker container for uh, uh, influx db right and uh, we have uh, given the environmental variable with admin and password and uh, we have also attached a volume to it right and now we have shown how to connect to the database docker exec it using docker exec it right and we have uh, created a database and also imported some data right 
so that is all uh, with this tutorial so it's a very short one which i just want to show you so i hope uh, this is informative for you and uh, thank you for watching and again i would request you to subscribe to my channel like the video share and comment